this morning. Got here late last night. Set up camp. We are camping out at Joshua Tree National Park. So I'm about to take this Skull Rock Trail. I thought it was five miles to the park road and then because I ran this morning I ran from like out here all the way out and it was only a mile a mile and a half but I thought this was five miles and it's 0.5 miles so we're gonna do that right now maybe even the whole thing actually we should just do the whole thing yeah, yeah. so I'll get some more footage of that that's a cool view with those whatever those are hawks This is probably one of the main um, uh, hiking trails, but I'm assuming pretty much all the hiking trails are like this. They're all really well laid out, so I'm pretty sure that they don't want people getting lost out here because you you die. <laughs> well, it's the desert. Look, there's someone stacked rocks right here. You see that? Yeah. But you can see how the trail's marked off. The big rocks. Awesome. This is my first time out here, so I think it's God, I love it out here. I love the I love the I this reminds me of in Prescott, the Granite Dells. Yeah. It's the same thing. But here there's there's a cactus around right there. Is that what that is? No, that was a blueberry. Um, in Prescott, they don't have the Joshua trees, but they're they're the granites are just like this out there. You see that bird? Yeah. Look at how this rock cuts across in this, in this granite. That's crazy. And then it comes down to almost like a step. Natural. From the because well, that So here is Skull Rock. The point five miles. This is what we got to. And it looks like a skull kind of. If you stand over here, you can see like it looks like a nose and then the eye. You can see it a little bit better. Oh yeah. From this side. Like I said, that was 0.5 miles from the campground, and then you take another trail that goes around across the road, and that's 0.7 miles back to the road, and then we have to go back into the campground from there. So this is coming out of Skull Rock Trail, and I think it picks up up there. Up, yeah, up at that crosswalk up there. So we'll go, we'll walk up there and then cross that way and then we go across out there. Okay. And that's another, that's 0.7 miles. Oh, that's right. Yeah, maybe you see. Yeah. So this is the other side of the road. Other side. Other part of the trail I just showed you that I forgot I didn't even read that. But. <laughs> we were on that side. There's Skull Rock feature. It said Skull Rocks this way, but that's Skull Rock feature. That's what it said. Whatever. I think this is just Skull Rock Trail. It leads you to the Skull Rock feature. If you were coming the other way. Oh, 
around either way, you can get to this full rock feature, right? It's really cool in here. I don't know what this is, it's like a, a wash. You imagine this fills up with water when it rains, like, you know what I mean? walk on the side. Yeah. Careful. Mm -hmm. I wonder why they do that. Why they did that. I mean, I would think for some kind of irrigation, but I don't understand Are we the right why it would be like that. So you climb up through there. And then you go up this little rock. It's not hard at all. No. And then you just and then you come back out and I think the trail leads up to here. But there's a post. I don't know necessarily know where um it's the rock trail. Here's the uh different way around. I don't know if you can see those guys in the distance climbing that boulder right there. Hawk flies over their heads. Or vulture. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, here's the view from this point. Pretty awesome. Oh man, look at those Joshua trees way over there. They're huge. And we're this far away and you can see them that big. We go around here. Look at the, the rock right there. With the So this is the end of the trail, 0.7 miles from Skull Rock Feature, and that's the beginning of, what's the name of the campground? Jumbo Rocks. Jumbo Rocks. Right there. And we go back into the park, which we will go to and get to our trailer. And that was that. Well, the end of the trail is right here. And this is entering Jumbo Rocks Campground. So we try not to get hit by a car. You can see people parking on the side of the road, doing their hikes, rock climbing. I don't know if you can, it, you might not be able to hear me that well because of the wind. You can see people up on the rocks up there vlogging. It's a YouTuber right there probably. <laughs> yeah, see he's vlogging. He or she is vlogging. See that? Yeah, it's those girls we met on the trail. Or they're looking for service. Oh, that could here. be also. Coming in to the park. Should have did this driving in. It's so yeah. slow. I'll try to get as many campsites as I can coming down. I just don't want to film people in their camps. Look at what they're doing. <laughs> That's so fun. Instagramming. Reservations only. about BLM camping north of Highway 62 so it's overflow so if you come here thinking that you're gonna get a campsite but it's re all reserved maybe you could check that out I don't know if you can read it that well It'd be cool for the kids, because it'd be just neat. Oh, they'd want to climb that. It would be, this would be a good one. Oh, it's just, oh, it's 
it's still morning in California. It's just afternoon our time here. Yeah. See how it goes back in there? That's kind of cool. Yeah. That one doesn't look like you could get it even if it was available. That's like yeah. strictly. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, This is 117 door on the opposite side, so that was that'd be kind of a weird one for a trailer um, RV. I guess you could pull straight in and you'd have your door on the right side. Yeah. If, you had an, if you had a little RV, it'd have to be a small RV. Good ones, I think, or at least one that's kind of long. 111. There's trash over there. Should we grab that trash? Look at that. Oh, maybe some. Of there's like a bowl and stuff. Might still be living there. 111 and 112. You got them together. 112 is kind of cool because look at that Joshua tree right there. But trailer, if you have a long trailer, this is more of a tent camping area. But one, yeah, you'd have to get them both together. It's kind of cool. Oh, there's somebody's bike helmet right there. Oh, there's a tent right there. Also well, like tent camping around those sites. And back in there. So it's mostly because it's hard to take a trailer through some of those roads back there. It's just so tight. Uh, I don't, I don't, I forget who the YouTubers are, but they, they do like drive-throughs of all the campsites or campgrounds. So they put the, the go, like a GoPro on top of their car, mm -hmm. or no, they use one of those 360 cameras, and then they drive through, and, and I've used it before, I used it for the Grand Canyon, mm -hmm. to stay there, you can look and stop at the, uh, you can stop the video, and then you can move the camera to see what site number that was, but they drive pretty slow, so you can check it out, but I always like want them to stop and, and like videotape and like, you know, go over and look at it. <laughs> So, yeah. I can't, but you can't do that with every site because there's people in here. And I, I mean, I would like to for, for the video, you know. There's the Instagrammers. Yep. <laughs> site 91, where there's people staying in here, so I don't really want to film them too much. But this is a, this is a cool this is site. A good one. Yeah, 91. Because be you could pull up and you could have another, even another car, probably. Yep. And the trailer would be back there. That's cool. This is the one we should get. Really close to the rocks. 91. And then these are cool too though. 90? I like this one too. This one I can actually like really walk through. I think I already did, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Morning. Hey, morning. Yeah, but this one we were thinking like where the trailer would But you could do the same thing we did there. Yeah. And no one could park in front. Hey guys, so I'm at the visitor center here in Joshua Tree National Park, or one of them. I think there's another one on the other end of the park. Uh, so yeah, this this was a cool story. Um, I don't know if you can read the the thing. I'll try to post it again. Um, the information about Minerva Hamilton Hoyt who pretty much made Joshua Tree the national park that it is. Pretty cool. Dedication. Well, took a little drive out through the park and here we are at what's called Cap Rock. That's where it looks like this rock's going to slide down this hill and this crush all these photographers. This is like a, I don't know what's going on here, like someone just got married or they're having like a, some kind of photography.
photography training course or something here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to walk over here to this cap rock and check it out. Yeah, I would have to say Joshua Tree should be on your list of parks to go to if it isn't. It's a beautiful area. Very beautiful. Um, we just stayed for Friday night and Saturday night, so today's Sunday and we're out. Um, just packing everything up. last minute shots of the campsite I'm telling you guys if, if you haven't been to Joshua Tree definitely definitely put some time away to get up here especially if you're close to California California Arizona I guess Not much parking space, maybe two spots, but lots of places for tents as well. I think I already did this one time. Right. I'll try to film more when I'm leaving. Um, we're, we need to figure out a place to dump, a dumping station, and we're going to get breakfast. And then hopefully our neighbors, uh, I don't want to film their license plate number, but... The way this is marked for a trailer, we talked about this, we, we wanted to have the trailer out in front of the campsite, but if I was to pull the truck up in front, the trailer would be way back there, and it would be kind of weird, I guess. But it's not a big deal, but I'm, as soon as they get up, I'm going to have to ask them to move so I can hook up. Um, so keep that in mind. This is 88, and this space is 89 over here. They're all still sleeping right now, so I'm gonna film over there, over there, and there is the lots of room for tents and stuff. That's a really cool site too. That's like I said, 89. So yeah.